Zuckerberg. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Gotta get it by any means. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Gotta get it by any means. By any means necessary. I'm making moves, trying to be legendary. So I. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Football. It's me, Damian Jamar, DJ, whatever you want to call me. Now, as everybody know, the Panthers was on a bye week this week for week seven. But, like I said, I was still going to make a video. Now... Now, I know as football fans, probably some of the OGs, like the older ones, I know they're probably sick and tired of the whole Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift thing. Me, I really don't care. Okay? I really don't care. It's probably helping her out. It's probably helping him out. Whatever. I do admit they probably show Taylor Swift a lot more than they should, but whatever floats their boat. Anyway, I just want to get that out of the way. I'm happy for them. So, you know, one thing I noticed about about uh, certain teams and when they go to the Super Bowl or when they start to win a lot or when they win the Super Bowl, I noticed that a lot of teams or certain teams win when they're winning it seems like they're having fun that they they they're all on the same page and i'm not talking about like just the team that's on the field like i'm pretty sure it's the office the front office you know on the other side of things you know and everybody is having fun and they're on the same page, that's when they win more. I've noticed that. For example, the Kansas City Chiefs. You see like all the plays, like if you watched um, the Netflix special when they covered uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota, and they talk about some of the play calling, for the Chiefs, they make up these plays or, or create these plays with creative names and they have fun with it. That's why, in my opinion, that's why they're so successful. The Eagles, they do this, they do the same thing. They just they they they're starting this whole thing. Well, they're they're the only ones that's doing it. The, 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 the first they were calling it the tush push. Now they're calling it the brotherly shove. But they're having fun. And they're all on the same page. I mean, not to mention, I mean, they both teams got, uh, you know, great receivers and, you know, tight ends. But, I mean, they're still having fun. The Panthers. 2014-15 season. Cam Newton. They have fun. Cam Newton he he brought he brought the fun to the Panthers. Something that we haven't seen before or experienced. He had fun out there playing, which is why the whole that whole season, we only lost two games against the Falcons and the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna go too deep into the Super Bowl. I I, I will say this: Panthers went to the Super Bowl in 2003, 2015. 
Now, I don't, I don't remember much about the 2003 season. I do remember watching it, and I do remember watching the Super Bowl. As far as, like, the fun aspect, I'm not really sure. I'm talking about now, like, recently. Like, in the past, you know, years. I don't know. I don't know how many, but I've just noticed. When they start having fun, they start winning. 2003 Super Bowl. Between the two, 2003 is what I really want. I really, really wanted that Super Bowl out of both of them. 2003 Super Bowl, I really wanted it for Steve Smith. I feel he deserved he deserved that ring. Steve Smith was a dog, straight monster on the field. But I just feel like the Panthers need to get that back. They need to figure out a way to get that fun aspect back. And we will start winning games once again. That's my opinion. I mean, I think uh, I think either Frank or Thomas Brown, whoever's whoever's uh, in charge of the uh, creating the plays, need to really really update that that playbook and start putting some stuff in there where I mean they can have fun with it. And if there's any kind of beef or whatever in the locker room, they need to squash it, get on the same page, and they will start winning. The old line needs to get better too. We're not gonna we're not gonna leave that part out. But the offensive line needs to get better. Especially to protect a guy like Bryce Young. Now this past game. I I can see, you know, Bryce Young starting to starting to adapt to the NFL life. So we just next game is the Texans, week eight. We got the Texans and and uh, Frank Reich is handing over the reins of play calling to Thomas Brown. Hopefully, we start seeing changes. In in the offensive on the offensive side, hopefully, we'll see. But we got the Texans Sunday. This coming up Sunday, I hope this this by week. I hope they worked on everything because these past games, these past few games. Have been horrendous. Let's just recap, shall we? And not to mention, I just looked at this. They lost all three preseason games, which technically don't count, but you know. 14 point loss against the Falcons, three point loss against the Saints, 10 point loss against the Seahawks. Eight point loss against the Vikings, 18 points against the Lions, 21 point loss against the Dolphins. In reality, we should have beat the Falcons, should have beat the Saints, should have beat the Seahawks, Vikings, maybe. Lions are decent. Um, I, didn't, I didn't expect to beat the Dolphins, but. Let me tell you something. 0 and 6 right now. We should beat the Texans. We should beat the Colts. Should beat the Bears. It's 3 and 6. Cowboys. Uh, um, might be 3 and 7. Titans, 4 and 7. Buccaneers, 5 and 7. Saints, 6 and 7. Falcons, 7 and 7. Packers, 8 and 7. Jaguars, Mm-hmm. 
maybe. Nine and seven, Tampa Bay ten and seven. That's that's where we should end. But we'll see. Now look, before I wrap this up, I just want to say I, I've seen some things like the Panthers need to get it together or they're going to start losing fans. Let me tell you something. I ain't going nowhere. We've been here before. Let me tell you. The Jaguars have been there before. Look at them now. The Lions have been there before. Look at them now. The Cowboys have been there before. You know, a while ago. Look at them now. The Dolphins have been there before. Look at them now. The Jets have been there. I mean, they're three and three, but before they were zero and one and five, zero and six at this point where we are. So look, as far as that, like, I'm a true fan, and I feel like if you're a true fan, you wouldn't abandon them now, either, and and, and find another team or whatever, because. I feel like if you abandon them now, then they start to get better. And then we get back to the promised land again. And then you want to jump back on the wagon. I don't think you should be able to. Panthers are my team. I'm going to stick with them. I mean, all you can do is just wait and see what happens. I mean, they're talking about putting weapons around Bryce Young. In my mind, I just, I get it. But the people that are around him now, I mean, coach him to be weapons. And that's, that's what the coach is supposed to do. Teach him to be weapons. They could be weapons. I'm a fan to the end. But Sunday, week eight, Texans. Let's go, baby. After the bye week, let's get back on the field. Back to the bank. Let's win games. Let's win games. If we win the rest of these games, if, that's a big if, got a chance, got a shot. So let's get it. Let's get it. Keep pounding. I'm up early, get my hands dirty. Gotta make that long drive. Punch the clock around 7.30, then getting off around 5. Overtime on weekends, now I'm starting to feel a little sleep deprived. But you gotta do what you gotta do in order to survive. Knocked down, but didn't stay down. Ten toes, never laid down. What them haters gotta say now? Yeah, I'm on my way.